Yes, sir, baby. Boy, it's prime time. I say we're going to kick this thing off something like this. Oh, it's playing the boxer. And yes, we here again. Come on. It's burning the boxer, boxing the gossip gather. Yeah. Hit you with the hard facts. Fall back. Park inside your living room. Do be fake for the sake of reason and views. No job, no gossip. From Bernie the Boxer. Saying is you're lying to yourself. Yeah. You got to eat, sleep, breathe this to understand. You ain't a genuine boxing fan. Not these fools popping off about who could be who doing what in the sport. Never felt the pain from the Yeah. Just agree to log on. No job, no gossip. From Bernie the Boxer. Yeah. It's Murray the Boxer. <laughs> yes, sir. To the Murray the Boxer podcast show. Yeah. About what's going on. Ooh. Let it ride, Steve. Let it ride, Steve. You hear that speed bag going? Huh? You hear them ad libs? Yes, sir. Huh? So the boy got his own song. Okay, like I said, you know who it is. You know what it is. It's yours truly. It's Bernie the Boxer. I say, did you miss me? Come on, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's $2 Tuesday. You understand? Baby made uh them uh 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 chicken fajitas and uh steak fajitas. We didn't have tacos, but we was in the mode. You understand? Give a super shout out to my boy Steve Penn for that wonderful introduction song. You know what I mean? True to form to the kid. Huh? Say so the boy got his own song. Oh, say, like I say, you know who it is, man. It's yours truly. It's Bernie the Boxer. Okay, okay, man. We're gonna talk. We're gonna talk some boxing, man. I've been about eight, nine days. You know what I mean? I've done a couple interviews. I didn't went up with Blue Blood a little bit. I didn't, you know, you know what I'm saying? If you heard, check that out. Check that uh, little thing out. I went out with Blue Blood. You understand? <laughs> Ain't doing nothing but dropping them jewels, man. Come on, man. I live and breathe this, man. This boxing, man. This is what I do. Okay, before I get started, though, too, I want to give a super shout out to all my sponsors. First, I want to give a super shout out to my girl, Brenda Kays. You understand? Go to Brenda Kays, homemade cookies.com. You understand? They be, they, I'm missing them. There was a whole box, but I, you know how to stand. They was too good. You understand? I can't keep my hand out the cookie jar. You hear me? Yes, sir. Shout out to my girl, Brenda K. You understand? Down there making them homemade cookies. You know what I mean? Cookies make you feel good. Food make you feel good. And there's some feel good. It'll give you the Holy Ghost. You understand? That's how they're good they taste. They give you the Holy Ghost. Make you jump for joy. You understand? Bring the K's, man. Get you some homemade cookies, man. Check her out on Instagram. Like I said, check her out on uh, Brenda K's homemadecookies.com. Yeah. Okay. 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 Like I say, super, before I get started, I want to give more shout outs to my boy, So Cold Nelson. You understand? We come back from the national championships, took the fellas down there, took the guys and the gals down there to uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Shout out to all the winners down there. Or New Mexico. It was New Mexico. They went out there. They was vying for the national championship. We didn't come back with a winner, but we did have some make it to the finals. And, uh, you know, in the close contest, you know, we didn't come. We didn't. We came up short. But, you know, it was a learning experience. Shout out to huge, huge deal reef. You understand for holding them down too. all the fighters at B and B appreciate you. You know what I mean? Keeping uh, make it, keeping our legacy alive. You understand y'all did not disappoint us. You know what I mean? And next time we going to come back with all winners. You hear me? Okay. 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 Now what's new in boxing, man? Boy, I'll tell you boxing life turn on a dime. You don't never know. You don't know what's going to happen. N n like they say, Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get, huh? I was watching uh, 
I was watching uh, 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 the Daily Show. They took Trevor Noah off of there. I forgot the fella's name. He a good fella. If you ever, well, I'm a political type of guy. I'm a, uh, you know, a historical type of guy. You know, I like to know things of the nature. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm watching. And like you said, no matter who you vote for as the president, you got to watch everything every day before he be president or after they be president. You understand, huh? Every day you got to watch your life. You got to watch what's going on. Every day, don't matter who the president is, you better take care of you. Okay. 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 Who I got in there? I got my usual suspects in there. I got cuz up there. I got cuz up there. It's a Davis thing, baby. You understand? It's a Davis thing, baby. Yes, sir. You what he say? What's good, really? Just getting ready for this, the the homecoming see upcoming season. Last year, we going to the majors. I don't care what we do. You understand? The boy, big, tall, fast, strong, huh? Throw a, a fastball like a lightning ball. You understand? Oh yeah. Come on. Now we's up in the big league, getting our turn and back, huh? As long as we here, it's you and me, baby, and ain't nothing wrong with that. Come on. And ain't no turning back. Come on now. Uh, we didn't come this far just to come this far. Okay, shout out to you, Relly. Appreciate you, uh, Junior. You know what I'm saying? You going up. You know what I mean? I know you got your opening game this weekend, man. And hopefully I'll be able to make it down there. You know what I'm saying? Show some love, social support. But if I don't, you know you in my heart. You understand? Okay. 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 Who I got in there? Else? I got Candy Slim. I got Hova 575. I got just the guy in there. I got boss man in there. I seen the boss man in there. What is going on with my thing? I, I don't know. I swear to Jesus. What is wrong with this thing, man? What is wrong with this thing, man? What is wrong with this thing, man? The shit was just working. Excuse my language. I don't know why my bar ain't working. I swear to God, I don't know. Okay, who I got? I got Matt. I got Matt Bills. Aspects and all angels, you understand? And all angels. Come on, man. Where I'm going? I'm go okay, okay, okay. There it is. There it is. There it is. I done highlighted all kind of stuff because I'm. I swear to God, I'm computer illiterate. <laughs> I ain't no computer baby, man. Come on, I'm a caveman. <laughs> okay, I got AJ sixty four over there. I got Pierre Winfrey. I got blind faith, huh? Blind faith, you know? We walk by faith, huh? We got to believe it. You got to believe it. All right, I didn't see boss man, but I'm going to catch up with you. All right, okay. So like I said, y'all seen my title, man. You seen what's going on in the world of boxing. You know, we just had a... Uh, first, little, hold on. What we had? We had this weekend. You know, I didn't watch the fights. I was at the comedy show. Watching, uh, what's his name? Dead something. I forgot his damn name. Anyway, I was hanging out. I didn't know it was no fights. I wasn't paying attention to no fights because I was too busy hanging out. Anyway, you see you had Williams and Pater go up, uh, uh, finish this guy off, uh, Maxi Hughes, uh, just coming off a, a, a close loss to uh, to George Cambosa. Everybody thought he won the fight. But uh, uh, Williams and Pater blew through him. Blew through him. That's what they said. They blew, he blew through him after a, 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 com a competitive first round. Blue doing. Okay, he's a pay boy. He's 30 and old. Hey, I'm, like I'm saying, hey, that boy's something to be reckoned with. Him and Mark Dyer, boy, they, they something to be reckoned with. Now, I don't know if they can they beat the top, top dogs, but, man, they right there with him to give him a challenge. It's worth the wait. It's worth the seat. You know, uh, you had the kid, Kid Austin, go up. I think he came through with flying colors, won, you know what I mean, keeping his ranking, keeping his uh, star alive, you know what I mean? Shout out to them. Uh, who else fought? Uh can't remember anyway, but them was the main guys. You understand? Them guys did their thing, and, and shout out to them. Okay, but now in other news, in other news, in other news, I'm telling you, Keith Thurman, get rid of him. Get rid of him. I don't care if he never fight ever again. I don't care to see Keith Thurman fight. It's always something wrong with that man. It's always something wrong with that man. If so, I swear to God, I swear. I don't care what it is. There's always something wrong with that man. Something wrong with the man. He talked too much for something to be wrong. I'm so sick of Keith Thurman. I don't care. Keith Thurman, what have you done for me lately? Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Now, we was all hyped up for this fight. We wanted to see Keith Thurman. We really, I ain't going to lie, really was on, on Zoom. Keith Thurman dead in the water. Old news. You know what I mean? 
a lot of credit. He did what he did. That shit was yesterday, a thousand years ago. And that rain wasn't even, that wasn't, he didn't have no, no great rain. You know, he didn't have no great rain. No, nah, Keith Thurman had no great rain. He unified two titles and never gave the kid Earl Spence, never gave him a shot, never gave Crawford a shot. You understand? He was two for nil with Sean Porter and Danny Garcia. After that, and the fights is all memorable. I, I was just talking to my cuz. I said, cuz, I ain't even watched them fights, bro. I can't even sit through a Keith Thurman fight for real. Swear to God, him and Sean Porter, I didn't watch that fight. Him and Danny Garcia, I did not watch that fight. I swear to God, I would not even pull them fights up. What? No way. Like I say, Keith Thurman, after he got to the top class, he was not no one time no more. He was never no time. He wasn't knocking nobody out. Keith Thurman ain't knocked nobody out. He started out good, just like Berlanga. I ain't trying to throw no diss. I'm just giving an example. Knocking all them bums out. Then when it comes to the, co the competition, step up, man, knock nobody out. Ain't stop nobody. Ain't do nothing. Shout out. Keith Thurman, I swear to God, I'm so glad. Don't ever hear about him. Go retire and go away. Don't come back. I don't want to hear you nothing else no more. You're too fragile, nigga. you like AD. You understand? Always down. Your bitch ass always down. Talk too damn much. Fuck Keith Thurman. I, I swear to Jesus. I was just thinking the same thing. I was thinking, Keith Thurman reign wasn't all that. And really, none of them was all that. They they ranked the, the whole, the class, Bud was the class of the uh, 08, of the, of the Olympic team. That class. He was the, everybody else was trash. In a sense. Now, they was decent. But they, they wasn't nothing to go right home about. Keith Thurman wasn't nothing to write go home about. Lord bless him. Danny Garcia wasn't nothing to go home about. Uh, Deontay Wilder, maybe. I mean, he had the punch, but terrible skill set. Uh, who else they had? A lot of the guys they had that didn't make it, they didn't get no help. Highland Williams, Raynell Williams. Uh, uh, okay, we had Boo Boo, and they you see what they did to Boo Boo. You see what they did to Boo Boo. Boo Boo had to go up to heavyweight to get a fight. Boo Boo couldn't get no fights. He he couldn't get no fight with nobody, and Boo Boo ain't never looked spectacular in no fight. Lord bless him. Boo Boo ain't never looked spectacular in no fight. In no fight did Boo Boo look spectacular. If he did, y'all tell me. And I'm not I'm not trying to knock it. I'm just telling the truth. I'm giving the whole class. Listen, man. Like I say, man, y'all better put some respect on these guys' name. Like I say, I watched. Uh, I was talking to Blue uh, Blue Blood Sports. Y'all better y'all better love these guys while you got them. You better love these guys while you got them. You understand the real ones? And I say in Crawford, the top, the best. You know what I mean? Like when you're watching Crawford, you're watching the best. You hear me? The best all the way up, down, around town. You, I, I can't help that we together. I can't help that. But it's true. You understand? Just like when you was watching Pete, you know he was the best. Huh? When you're watching Roy Jones, you know he was the best. When Shane was up there, you know he was the best. Mayweather's, of course, you know you're watching the best. Ain't no question. Andre Ward, you know you ain't, you're watching the best, man. Like I tell him the fellow day, you got to beat them with the mind. It ain't just about brute force. You got to outthink these guys. And all them guys I just named, I'll think them boys. I'll fall them, I'll beat them, everything. You understand? Know That's why they're the best. That's why they rise to pound for pound, number one. You understand? Pound for pound. If everything was even what they'd do because of this. You understand? At the main thing, this going to get, but because of this, you got to think. You got to be a scientist in that ring. It's called scientific. You hear me? Hit and don't get hit. Outthink that man. You understand? Okay. Okay. Shout out to Bud Crawford. Appreciate you, champ. And that's like I said, you seen my title. You feel me? Oh, so anxious to walk into those steps of greatness. You know what I mean? To get that fourth divisional title, to fight for that fourth divisional title. You know what I mean? We don't never count our eggs till they hatch. You hear me? But like I say, we the favorite over all of them. We the favorite because we got the skills to pay the bills. That Bud Crawford, boy, you got to love that champ. Boy, I'm telling you, you got to love that champ. And like I said, I'm arguing with a fella. Well, I ain't arguing with him. But I told him. And his peers said it. Who was his peers? Tim Bradley. You just see Tim Bradley. You know what Tim Bradley was. You know uh, he was a, a real champion. You know he beat real killers uh, on his way up. You understand? Andre Ward. I just said, uh, listen, these is the class guys. These is, these is them. Just like when Michael Vick, when he came back and he played them, who he played? I don't know who he played. Dallas or somebody. Whoever. When they got done with the, after the game, they went and wanted his autograph. They beat him in that the losing team wanted his autograph. That's how you know you're great. Come on. That's how you know you're great. Yes. Yes. Huh? Your peers. You ain't got to do no bragging. Let the other folks do it for you. 
and that's what they did with Bud Crawford. You know, he he's a quiet, a humble guy. Never don't over talk nobody. Don't never put nobody down. Never put his own. Never brag on his own. You understand? Unless he in a basketball game, of course he want to beat you, tossing nickels. Yeah, but on his boxing, he keep that real quiet. Let me do all the talking. He let me be do all the talking. You understand? And then he do all this talking with these right here. You understand? With these right here. You understand? That's what count. What these what do all the talking. You understand? That's what count. Okay. So any rate, uh, you know what I mean? Who I got? I got Tony ten times. I got Burn OJ in there. Hey, uh, 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 you know what I mean? So, uh, it's sad. It's unfortunate. You know what I mean? That, uh, that, uh, the kid got hurt. You know what I'm saying? I don't wish it on nobody, you know, but again, you got to be smart. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Keith Thurman, he talked too fucking much. That's why I don't give a fuck. I, I don't want him to get hurt, but shit, fuck him. We didn't try to bring him in the fold too many times and he always hurt. Stay your hurt ass on the sidelines and keep doing what you've been doing. Maybe be a boxing commentator or some shit like that. Because I'm sick of you. I don't care to see you. But again, watching that fight, at any rate, I was only it was really on Tim Zhu. You understand to see how really he good he was. Can he step further out of his father's shadow? Not saying that he is, but again, his father is the great Casa Zhu. You know what I mean? It's hard to be a, a son and come behind your uh your your legendary father and feel those shoes or beyond. You understand? But he's doing. He's walking in his own path. And uh, you know what I mean? This is was going to be a test, you know, to do that. Keith Thurman been inactive, you know, but of course he's an accomplished champion. You know what I mean? He was going to go up to a weight where well, they said he was a smaller man, but Keith Thurman always been a big guy. He fought at 52. He fought at 52 in the amateurs. It wasn't 47 when he fought at 52. So at any rate, you know what I mean? As far as him being a smaller man, no. You know what I mean? He was going to be comfortable. And uh, that was going to be the, the thing about it. I think he was going to be comfortable. And, uh, you know, with his skill set, you know, and uh, with his experience, he's going to be able to hang in there with Zoo. Somewhat, we was waiting on Zoo, see what Zoo was going to do, and see what he was going to pass the fuck with, with flying colors. You know what I mean? I was rooting for Zoo anyway. Keith Thurman talked too damn much. He talked himself out the champ championship. Boom. Talked himself out the championship. Okay. So now what we got? We got, uh, we got uh, what's the kid's name? We got Fandora stepping in. We got Fandora stepping in. We got Fandora stepping in for the uh, save the card. You understand? He was going to fight a guy I did not know for the vacant WBC title. Now, how they did that shit, I'm telling you, these motherfuckers is ready to be bought. They say, what's your price? Everybody got a damn price. Everybody got a damn price. The world and went to stuff. It ain't worth nothing no more. It probably always been, but now it's out and it's just out and open for sure. Everything for sale. Everybody. Your integrity, your morals, your value. What's he said? To, what's the answer to 99 of 100 question? Money. Money. Influence, power. That shit, boy. Like he said, what did Elijah Mom say? He said that that camera, that, that, that television, that's worse than any narcotic. Huh? Attention. Jesus. They didn't do anything for it. Like I say, and for the money, boy, for the right price, motherfucker will sell their mama. Huh? Sell their mama. And, 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 and like I said, you know, again, you, you spoke, this supposed to be a gentleman sport. You know what I mean? No matter how you slice it, it's supposed to be mano y mano. It's, you know what I mean? Ain't, ain't, it is a team sport, but at the same time, it, when the fighter in there, the, the, the coach can't fight for you. You know what I'm saying? You can sub out in all the other sports. You can take a break. You can do this. You can call a timeout. Ain't no timeout. You got to wait till the round over and them rounds be long, boy. I'm telling you, 30 seconds when you're tired of getting your ass whooped. Jesus, 30 seconds. Come on now. You can't just stop in the middle of nothing. Like all the mother games say timeout. So anyway, it's a gentleman's game. But like I said, these that they, they just the whole world is going to shit. Listen, I respect Fendura. I think he's a good fighter. But listen, you can't strip a champion like Jamar Charlo. Jamar Charlo, that he had that title forever. He go up and fight Canelo. I don't care what he jumped to weight class to do it. That was out of his weight class. Plenty of fighters didn't fight outside their weight class. Uh, uh, let me give you some examples of what's this, what's this kid's name? Danny Romero. He was a flyweight champion, 112, IBF champ. He lose to Willie Salazar, if I'm not mistaken, in a non-title fight. He moved up in weight, maybe to 115, I think. He lose to Willie Salazar. Got stopped. Got a cut. Got stopped. He still was a flyweight champion, man. You can't take the championship. He said, can my title be taken without me being whooped? Now, listen, I know the WBO. 
even though I think they was kind of grimy for uh, stripping him for the WBO title. Man, listen, he the champion. Come on now. They don't stand for nothing, like I say. But then you're going to have, Lord bless, I don't know how you strip Charlo of the WBC championship. I don't understand. I, 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 now the ring, y'all better stay true. Leave that man alone. He's the ring champion. All them other belt, them, them belt holders, they, they belt holders. Jamel Charlo is the world champion. He's the champion, okay? Now they can go in history books now what they want. But the true champion is Jamel Charlo. Like I say, the ring magazine still holding true, right? That red, white, and blue thing. All right. So now, like I say, now you strip this man for the title and you're going to give it to who? Fendura ain't had no fight. Lord bless him. He ain't had no re he ain't had no fight. He had no fight. He ain't had no fight to says what his what have you done for me lately? He got knocked out. His last what have you done for me lately? He got knocked out. Now the other fellow, I think he was undefeated. They say he got all 100 percent knockout ratio, which I never seen him. Now he out because he a foreign, real foreigner. They don't nobody know him. Yo ass out. So I think what they said, they gonna put the both titles up. No, no. No, 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 no. Get if y'all want to get somebody to get that other fella that he that fella had a hard look. Don't give him no interim title. The fella that Fendura was gonna fight, let him fight for the title. Move somebody up, get somebody else up in there that he can fight for that title, man. Come on, man. Y'all can't make this a unification match, man. Y'all can't make this Fendura. You know you bought if you got knocked out in your last fight, you're gonna fight for the world title or an interim title. Hell. You ain't had no get back fight. Man, they would have never let Lubin do that. They never let Lubin do that. Lubin had to fight tooth and nail for everything he got. And then when he had to get back in the back of the line, and then he had to fight that killer Ramos, and he still ain't got a shot. Come on, man. Listen, man, make it make, it make sense, man. I'm telling you guys, is out of this is it, out of line, you know. You know what I'm saying? But don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Have no fear. Crawford is here. He going to come sweep all that shit up. You understand? He going to fight for all his titles. He can't say what they did with him when he, why he ain't there. But when he come there to invade, he going to capture all them. He going to get all them. So we, we ain't taking no upgrades. We don't want no this and we don't want that. We going to whoop whoever got him. You understand? That's their fault. And when Charlo get himself together, stop spending all that money, stop enjoying his family too damn much, or just stop hiding. We're going to whoop his ass, too, and we're going to get that red, white, and blue. You understand that four one? You understand? Four ones. Then, like they say, kiss the ring, baby. Kiss the ring, huh? Ain't too many people had their ring magazine in this modern era. Maybe Pacquiao, Mayweathers. You understand? Canelo right there. What he had? The ring 60, ring 54, ring 68. So he right there, one of them. He right there. If he fight Bebo and be one of them, he be up there, too. He'd be one of them. Can I step up there and be one of them, boy? I'm telling Hey, hey, hey. Like I say, that's why we want him. That's why we want him, huh? Huh? Greatest of our generation, huh? Greatest of our generation, huh? Undefeated, huh? Money man ain't the only one that can do it, huh? Money man ain't the only one that can do it. Okay. All right. So, like I say, we got those fights coming up the end of the month. You know, uh, I'm definitely, like I say, uh, I'm excited to see. I'm happy for Zoo. Because you know what I mean, still fighting a tough challenger. Uh in, 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 in any sense, you know, the man, anybody training for a fight, you know they're a tough challenger. You can't never say you can't never count your eggs today to they hatch. But you know, um uh, to 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 uh and, and that's only for zoo. I, I'm being biased. Fuck it. I'm just happy for zoo. Fuck it. At least all oh, his hard work didn't go out of way. <laughs> you understand? Know he didn't his hard work, they got him somebody. You know what I'm saying? They they might they could have, I don't know, they didn't have no, but at least you know what I'm saying, they got somebody viable. Fendura been getting in shape. He in top shape. He was ready to fight. And again, like he said, this is a big fight. The other guy, I can't even pronounce his name. You understand? So now we got Fendura versus Zoo. But Fendura got his ass knocked out in his last fight. But it ain't Zoo fault. It ain't Zoo fault. Zoo going to get in there. He do it. I still love Zoo. I'm giving him a lot of credit. Can't wait to see the fight. But Keith Thurman, go to hell. Please. Don't mention him. Don't cover him. Don't ask him nothing. Fuck him. We don't give a fuck about the bicep. It probably was fake anyway. Take your ass. Go back underneath a fucking rock. Keith Thurman beat it. Don't want to have nothing to do with you no more. I don't myself. I swear to Jesus, I don't give a damn. Okay. Now, who else we got on there? Like I say, we got that fight. We got Pitbull Cruz going up against Roley. I think it's a good fight. I'm going with I'm going with uh, Pitbull Cruz. I think he got the better skill set. You know, um, I think Roley got the longer reach. And uh, 
but the skill set ain't there. I got Pitbull smothering him and hopefully he can come through and become a world champion. Now, you know, I was thinking about this too. I was thinking, man, uh, uh, they got to pay to fight. Uh, uh, he number one for the IBF, right? But man, they don't want that shit. If you mask it, mask it don't want no nothing other title but the WBC, man. They don't want it. But you know, listen, you got to do what you got to do. You got to do what you got to do. They're going to put you in for the world title. Who going to pass that up you understand so he fight for the wba title you know what i mean it's uh, uh roly is giving him a lot uh, a lot of motivation with you know the shit talking um then buying up uh the, the chihuahua you know what i mean and uh you know what i'm saying just add fuel to the fire and I, it's gonna be a good fight you know they both action fighters it's gonna be a good fight on the undercard and like i said you know even them two fights i don't know about no pay-per-view but they ain't nowhere else i don't we, you know what i mean all the real itch season got out of boxing the, the old school just in, is losing its way every second. Every every second, the old school just going away. You know what I'm saying? No morals, no values, no loyalty, no character. All the shit just gone. And uh, But anyway, so like I say, somebody got to have the fight. The kid going to fight. I don't know if it's pay-per-view or not, but them still two good solid fights. Give us something to do. You know what I mean? So shout out to all those competitors fighting. Keith Thurman, fuck you. Go underneath for rock. All right. Let me get to some questions, man. Let me get to some questions, man. Shot town I see you, Pierre. I see you, Pierre. I see you, Pierre. Got them keys, boy. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. You know how to sing, sing. He said, y'all singing group. Then why don't you sing something? <laughs> said, I got nothing but love for you, baby. Got nothing but love. For you, baby. All right, let me get some comments, man. I ain't gonna be that was my whole thing. I I was tired. I've been nursing this pinched nerve. I went to the gym today. I sat in that steam room. I didn't want to come out. I didn't want to do nothing. Steve Peasy, the hit maker. You understand? You gotta go check my boy out. Like I say, the hit maker. If you love that song, my wonderful introduction song, you can catch it on iTunes, you can catch it on YouTube music. You understand? You can catch my boy. Steve Penn, SD Penn on, on iTunes, on YouTube, on Instagram. You feel me? Just a hardworking single father. You understand? Huh? Said, I don't need no woman. Not like that. I raised these kids myself. I raised them to myself. All right. Who I got? Zone Sixer, Downtown Funk, Berno J, Rossi D, 12 Threes. Man, they were over there talking about, I swear to they, they talking about, I, I feel they going to argue with me. He said uh, 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 about LeBron James. Man, never, never, never. He ain't got enough killer instinct. Never got, kill, no, enough killer instinct. No killer instinct, man. The man no, ain't got no killer instinct. Uh, they they should put Michael Jordan up there. They say, uh, Isaiah Thomas, I'm reading, you know, I go through the reels. He didn't whoop the, he didn't whoop all the legends of the 80s, but he whooped all of the 90s. They didn't stop making uh, legends in the 80s. He whipped all of them in the 90s. Shit. Oh, my God. I don't know why my fucking computer just... Why is my... I'm just driving me nuts. I swear to God. All right. Fuck this computer. I swear to Jesus. I hate technology. I hate technology. Drive me insane. Fuck. Why is my computer not going? I'm trying to go to the top. The motherfucking comments... The shit won't work. No matter what I'm doing, the shit won't work. It could make me go all the way down, but it won't let me go up. Okay. All right. So what's good with everybody? Appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. You know it's the kid. You know who it is. You know it is. It's yours truly. It's Brain the Box. Do a couple things for me. Do the like and do the subscribe and do the sharing for the kid. You understand? Ooh, I got tons of comments. Tons of comments. How far can I get up there? How Russ, what is this fucking Okay, okay, I gotta hold the damn hold that and hold that. All right, <laughs> K man ass nigga. <laughs> Robbie Hen, appreciate you. Ray Sanders said, What's good, Bernie? I'm just chilling, man. I got a job to do. I'm gonna come say it too. You know, I, I, I can't stay quiet. I'm gonna tell the truth. That's what and nothing but the truth. So help me God. Keep Thurman beat it. We don't want to hear from you no more. No more. T-Skew, what up? Appreciate you. Memphis, 
Oh, Mi Mi Mississippi. Mississippi. Pure. Hell yeah. Finally caught one live. Come on, man. If you hit the if you hit the subscribe button, boy. If you hit the share button, if you hit the like button, I'm gonna pop up. But it's cool. Catch the rerun. Ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? What we do? Rush home. Take your time. Kick your feet up. You understand? You might not catch me live, but when you do, do it in style. Get you something good to eat. Huh? Sit back and just listen. Just a guy says 402 stand up. One love. Hit the like button. Omaha to blast you. Bah! Okay. This message is sponsored by Brenda Case, huh? Tastes so good, give you the Holy Ghost. Boss man. Yes, sir. It's almost that time. Huh? Finna be digging ditches. Can't wait. Julio G says, yo, Akeem the Great. The Great. You hear me? What's good, Bernie? I can't call it. Lou Kalizi said, what's up, Bernie and Rucha? Three-time undisputed. Yeah. 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 Come on now, huh? We did a whole cross-country tour. When Jack Johnson beat Jim Jeffrey, man, come on. He didn't fight. They, when they win them big ones, boy, they go on vaudeville tours. They go on speaking engagements. They go do all that stuff. And that's what the kid did. I don't know how many countries he went to. He didn't went to every country you could think about, man. He, he think about a country. He go. I just want to know. He, he one of them type of guys. He one of them guys, uh, like I said, you know, we come from, we ain't never had nothing. So when we got a little something, huh? We going to make it do what it do, huh? We going to Crystal Lakes and, and beautiful beaches and, 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 and you understand, huh? First class, take a nap on there, jump from there to jump to there. You only live, you only live once, huh? You only live once. He said, and guess what? A dope thing told me that, huh? Said you can learn a lot from a dummy. Okay. 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 What'd he say? AJ C4 says, Bernie the dumpster diver, you full of shit. Your mama full of shit too, punk. Your mama full of shit, bitch ass nigga. Your mama full of shit. Hmm? Your mama full of shit. Your old lady full of shit. Your kids full of shit. And most importantly, you full of shit. Okay, kids, if turn up, come on now. <laughs> what what he mad at me for? He can't get mad at me for telling the truth. Some folks just hate it. You understand? But you gotta come to the light. Huh? You gotta come to the light. Can't stay in darkness. Don't get you nowhere. You can't see in the dark. Huh? You got to come to the light. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Tony 10 times. What'd he say? <laughs> Tony 10 times. Yes, sir. I like that. Tony 10 times. Yeah. Where Mr. Perfect at, man? And where my boy Mr. Perfect at, man? Where, where, where Mr. Perfect at? Oh, I'm, I'm, I feel good, AJ. I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm good. What'd he say? You better keep wearing that hat for somebody smack another uh, a ball spot on the back of that head. Yeah, I got a spot. You bitch ass nigga, and I bet I can't find you nowhere. That's, that's my halo, you punk ass nigga. That's my halo, you punk ass nigga. This my calling card. You see that red bandana? Bees up. You hear me? Crab ass nigga. You gotta be a crab. Only a ricket to talk to me like that. Only a ricket to talk to me like that. And I did say that. I meant it too. Bees up. Okay, what do you say? Mr. Pure says, say showbiz made a great hypothetical says uh t bush or what boots it y'all keep talking about boots listen we gonna pay for boots I, I ain't even gonna get that who gonna bug gonna pay for boots is that what he's supposed to do somebody tell me is bus supposed to go pay for boots i thought the i thought the challenger chases the champion i could have swore in all my life the challenger chases the champion i ain't never seen no champion chase a challenger i ain't seen no champion chase challenger. just like Keyshawn said how come he gold and he, ch and he chasing silver? I felt him on that. I felt him on that. Why you worried about me? You supposed to be somebody super special. Worry about you. Do you? What you need me for? Come on. Like I say, if, now listen, y'all Y'all don't want to say, if Boots wanted, he would have went to WO. He would have went to WO. He would have went to the IBF. Somebody called me, they talking about Bobby, talking about his bug going to relinquish the titles. Why? You never know how you going to feel. Wake up feeling different. Huh? You never know. You never know. Somebody might have the guts to put up the money and we'll whoop his ass for sure. Then they can go, they can go to him. You know, we don't turn down no phase, huh? We don't turn down but the collar. That's it. Just the that's it. Bud don't turn down no phase, man. He, he don't run from no smoke, man. I don't care who he is. Bud don't run. That's that's how it is. Now listen, we ain't going to go look for what we done for diving for. Where we going? Lord blessing boost is a hell of a talent. But where we going? What we looking at him for? For make you happy? Come on now. 
if the people thought he had worth was worth it, they'd have put the money up. They'd have put the money up. Huh? We, we the superstars in this situation. We the undisputed champion in this situation. Come on now. Like I say, now y'all don't want to hear it. I'm going to say it one more time. If you can prove to me that Boots did anything to make a fight with Bud Crawford, I, I give you $2,000. Fuck it. I'd have emptied up from $1,000 to $2,000. I give you, $2, you $2,000. Send me a cash app. You can put me some uh, some proof up there that anybody made any kind of offer to Bud Crawford, whether it be the Saudis, whether it be DZone, Showtime, Al Heyman, uh, anybody motherfucker, Money Mayweather, any private billionaire, millionaire motherfucker that you got, even Boots himself, never mention a fight with Bud Crawford, try to make a fight with Bud Crawford. Ain't even, won't even Instagram me, won't even DM him. All right, now leave me alone. I swear to God. Okay, just a guy says best two dollar Tuesday all around. Hit the like button, y'all. Do it, do it. Fifty watching, eighteen likes. Man, I got one sixty eight, and I got one sixty eight here. I need one hundred sixty eight likes, one hundred sixty eight shares. Come on, circulate me because it's the truth, huh? It's the way. The truth is the only way. You got to do that. You got to face the truth, the facts. You understand? And that's all I'm telling. Facts. These ain't no my opinion. These are facts. Boots ain't did nothing. All right, not one thing. Okay, now if y'all don't like that, you keep trying to keep bothering me about that. Tell him, fuck, go out there and hustle up and make some money. Shit, Jack Johnson took five thousand. The champion got thirty thousand. What? He got thirty thousand. He got five. All right, now come on, look in your history. They don't know no history to even draw from. Like I said with Blue Blood. You boys running to hide because they lost a fight. They ain't throwbacks. They don't got no history. Mike Tyson come out with the eye bulge. Nobody lost to Buster Douglas. It wasn't even Holyfield. Buster Douglas was seen as a nobody. Tyson, the, the baddest man on planet, he come out to steal the next day with an eye like that. Come on, man. Like I, come on, brother. Like I said, you got come on now. And who, who is you better than them? Who is you better than the greats before you? Come on, boy. I swear to God. All right, so like I say, come on, man. <laughs> man, y'all better knock it off, man. <laughs> y'all better knock it off, man. When I come, when I'm coming, I'm coming strong. <laughs> when I'm coming, I'm coming strong. You hear me? You ain't got nobody. Maybe Mike Tyson probably can out acknowledge me, man. Can out talk me with this boxing, man. Like I, I'm like a lawyer, huh? They call me Perry Mason. Huh? Huh? I'm gonna give you an example. Shit. When you go to a court case, they pull up this and that. They pull up this, this. You understand? To back it. You motherfuckers, boy. Oh, my God. I swear to Jesus. Listen. Okay. What'd he say? Uh, T.R. Bernie uh, McGee is going to beat the... Sh oh, man, gone. Man, gone, man. That man got... That Canelo then forgot more about boxing than that man gonna ever know. <laughs> Didn't that man gonna ever know? What Canelo have? Canelo got this. McGee don't got that. So uh, sorry to say that. Sorry to say it. Sorry to say that. Cuz I'm still here. I'm still here. Said, I'm just happy to be here. Jay Stewart, what are you talking about, man? I don't know, but if he's talking shit, I'm a get him. I'm a get him. Love, really. You know it. Peace and blessings to you and the family down there out in KC. The champions. The champions. Okay, you understand know all specs and all angels B and B to the top we go. G Measy said, "What's happening?" You know what it is, man. You understand? You see that, huh? Come on now. Uh, Hood Sports and Box says, "Salute, Coach. Appreciate you." Tell them Jessica, half y'all ain't hit the like button yet. They don't. They'll watch you like a motherfucker. They'll stalk you. They'll watch you. They'll do everything you. Man, I'm telling you, they watch me like a hawk. I can't say nothing. I can't say nothing on here. I can't say nothing on Instagram. They flag me. I can't do, go nothing nowhere. They bother me about, but give us them pieces. Everybody want to know where my piece at. In the drawer. I got to go show the motherfucker off everywhere I go. You know I got it. So why I got to show it to you if you know I got it? Come on, man. So they watching me too tough. My partner at church, he said, Bernie, listen. I've been here 10 years. I ain't never seen you wear the same shoes at one week in the next week. I know. But they watching me, they don't even understand that. You hear me? Come on. 
But would they like you? No. They didn't watch you. Like, oh boy, AJ64, bitch ass. Tell us, bitch ass. He, he, he love to hate me. He hate the truth. He love the truth, too. He want to hit. He just sad and pathetic, just like everybody that bothered me on Instagram. They just sad and pathetic. I'm going to tell them, put them in their place. If, if you can beat me, if you can tell me, prove me wrong. Listen, man, I'm, I'm like so cold. I'm so cold at this shit. This is what I do. I really love this shit. I really study this shit. You understand? Come on, so I was nine. Come on, man. Plus the truth. I love the truth. So cold. I love the truth. Hear me? Ice cold. Give it to me. You ain't never got the sugar coat nothing with me, huh? I sugar coat it for you because they said they said he used his hands to cut, bruise, and torment those he hated. And his tongue was almost as wounding. What? You know me, boy. I ain't even got to say nothing. My body language is say it all. I terrorize the whole room without saying nothing. Without saying nothing. I ain't got to say nothing but step in the room. And everybody wondering and can feel it off me, huh? You know it. Okay. That's that light. It's him. Okay. Just a guy says, Desi. Yeah, I went up there and seen him. He was decent. He's too much like a girl. Though. I don't, I don't, they ain't got no real comedians nowadays. Like I said, no, no, no real comedians nowadays. They all act like women. And I don't know no girls that act like that. I swear to God, I don't know none that act like that. I don't know no girls that talk like that, that act like that. I swear to God, but that's all they did was talk about women, act like girls and shit. They got the whole gestures, mannerism down, just like a woman. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I went for something to do, but it was all right. You know what I mean? The shit was kind of funny, but they ain't got no, they ain't got no real comedians these days. Keep doing your thing, though. It is what it is. Like I say, it is what it is. What do you say? Kevin Stark says, what's up, Bernie? Bud era, you know what it is. The best. Come on. You watching, Bud? You watching the best. He said, this Bud's for you. That's right. It's for all you guys. You understand? This Bud's for you. For all you guys. You know? Bud Crawford, everybody won't be like Bud Crawford. You can't say nobody. If a young fighter say, man, I won't be like Bud Crawford. Huh? I want to be like Bud Crawford. Every time you met somebody that talked to him, say, man, that boy was mean as hell, boy. Huh? He give me the fits in there. He didn't take nothing light on me. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. He said, if it, he's, uh, what 50 say? He said, he said, yeah, you do something to me, you won't live to tell about it. Before you make it home, you be down. You understand? Say, good move. That Canelo fight will have people comparing Crawford to Floyd too much. Crawford needs to be incomparable. Well, you know, it's always going to be that way. It's always going to be that way. You always gonna be compared, and that's good company. Floyd Mayweather is in good company, you know. Um, you know, far as and they closer in weight, you know. Like I say, I put him, Andre Ward, and all in the same. They right after another. You don't get greats like that back to back. You don't get greats like that back to back, you know. But Ward, since he followed the Lord so much and such a humble guy, you know, he ain't gonna. They they didn't they didn't put him out there like that. You know what I mean? They didn't put him out there like that. But again, like I say, he he did everything he was supposed to do. Beat them boys talking about who he didn't beat. He beat the who's who at 68. Them boys was killers. Them boys was killers. Huh? And you know, war started off slow. He was gold medalist, but war started off slow. War started off slow. War didn't look like no uh, gold medalist in the first couple of fights. War picked himself up and got better and got better and got better and dominated and became pound for pound. You understand? Shit. He, at one point, he probably was pound for pound, number one. At one point, they probably gave it a chocolate Latito or somebody. But at one point, Andre Ward was pound for pound number one. Shout out to G Ward. You understand? Shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and he ain't shame about loving the Lord. Come on now, huh? The bringer of light. He ain't shame of loving the Lord. And who, who else you gonna go without the Lord? Nothing. You see, Bud, when he put all them titles on, that was so beautiful. Like I say, he said, I, I was rather be, uh, he said he'd rather be the guy walking down the street looking at that famous person. He said, it didn't feel real. It didn't seem real. When he put them belts on, he put all them belts on and he threw up and he looked up and he put his hand up and ooh, <laughs> legendary, not even smiling, humble, quiet, put all them belts on, put them belts on. My champ and he looked up. <laughs> that stuff would never get old. That moment would never get old, boy. I swear to Jesus, boy. That never get old. And who had a moment like that? None of them bums. Because they didn't embrace their greatness. They didn't want to be great. They great business, man. But they don't. We ain't pick nobody. We ain't had no, nobody. Nobody. We didn't get to pick nobody. Ain't nobody. We don't get to pick. When? When have we picked? You motherfucker can't say we picked nobody. 
They said, nigga, you're going to fight Prescott. They said, you're going to go over there and fight uh, him and uh, Scotland. They said, your first title defense ain't going to be nobody that we don't know. You're going to fight them, boy, your first title defense. Yeah. Yeah. So what he said, too, okay, after I did that, now I'm going to go fight this guy. Hard punching Delorme. Still only got one loss. Hard, hey, they put him up there. We destroyed him. Four rounds. Put him in the dirt. Didn't struggle or nothing. Vacant title. Then they give us, okay, now they give us the man of the division. They give us him. They give us Postal. And what we do to Postal? Oh, my. That was master class. We tied him in knots. Victor Postal. Okay. Trained by the great Freddie Roach. European killer. Tall, rangy. Put Matisse in the dirt. Put everybody else in the dirt. Identical records we had. You understand? Big amateur career he had. International. What we do? We tied him in knots. We tied him in knots. That's greatness, man. Undefeated, we whooped him. Unified the title. Then we get Ndongo. Ndongo, they don't know nothing about Ndongo, but Ndongo been on the road whooping ass. You niggas can't go down the street and whoop a nigga. You niggas scared to fight a nigga in his front yard. Huh? You niggas scared to fight a nigga in his front yard. What? Come on, man. Ndongo went to their backyard, went over there and got it on with him. Come out with the belts. Man, what he do? We put him to dirt. We put him to shame with a body shot. Nasty. Not even a jaw shot. Hit him with a body shot. Took everything. What else we going to do? We didn't pick that. The man was in front of us. We ain't picked that. Nobody ain't. We ain't got picked. No, we ain't picked nobody. We weren't in the position to pick nobody. You know how we is? We take some Lottie Dottie. I know y'all hate it, but I'm going to put it in your face. It's true story. Huh? Lottie Dottie. 40 and 0. They said he wasting time. I said half. 40 and 0. Two time undisputed. Three-time lineal champion. Where was we wasting time? Fighter of the year, SB award winner. Where? Where was we wasting time at? You tell me. Okay. 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 I don't hear shit. I ain't gonna hear shit neither. I ain't gonna hear shit neither. Ken Slim, what do you say? Keith versus Earl will still be a good one, but I ain't holding my breath on Keith either. Man, Keith, the, I wouldn't get if I was Earl Smith, I'd tell him fuck him too. Fuck you. Fuck Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman, cold track. Like I say, his rain was never nothing that good anyway. You can't tell me nothing you like about Keith Thurman that he's so good. Except he moved good. He all, he can operate all right in there. He always knows his way around the ring. But is he good? Is he good to watch? His I hated his stupid ass hair. I ain't gonna lie to you. I hated that weak ass shit. That shave that I hate it with that long, that dumb ass shit. Cut that. I'm glad eh, stop it. That shit was terrible. His legs was always too wide. His punches was always too wide and looping. Keith Thurman was, was terrible to watch. Keith Thurman was not a good fighter to watch. And he was never one time after he stepped this game up. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. Who Keith Thurman stopped? Of note. Of note. Who he stopped? We stopped Gamboa. We stopped Earl Spence. We stopped Jeff Horn that they gave uh, that beat Pacquiao. We stopped in Dongo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We dropped, at least drop, drop a uh, uh, postal. Come on, man. We beat the stew out of gold medalist, uh, who, who, uh, Felix Diaz. And Felix Diaz had gave Lamont Peterson. Now, everybody loved Lamont. Lamont was revered and had a lot of respect. Everybody thought he won the fight or at least was two for now with him. We destroyed him. We wasn't even close. Wasn't even close. The referee had to get mad, got mad at us for beating him that bad. Online, go back and watch the fight. He got mad and Bud was tapping on him to come out. Bud was tapping him on the top of his head. To, that's the gold medalist. Beat the stew out of him. Went over there to Scotland and Jerry Scotland. Beat the stew out of Ricky Burns. Push Jeff Horn around. Push Errol Spence around. Come on, man. Now, when I'm telling a lie, you can call me out on it. Now, when you catch one lie that I'm saying that ain't true, then you can tell me. Then you can go ahead and say something. You can call in. You know my phone number, 402-686-6529. When I tell a lie, get me, okay? He says Thurman should be a gatekeeper. It would do well for his career at this point. He can't stay healthy. He just like Anthony Davis. He always down. Ain't nobody got I'm. If I was him, I'd be sick of this shit. I'd be sick of this shit. I done went through all these weeks of training camp, all this hard work. man. 
fuck it. I'm just done. Fuck. I ain't nothing else to prove. I was already unified champ. Yada yada. Fuck it. Fuck it, man. I, I'm so sick of I, I like I said, I can't put up with him another thing. I don't want to hear another interview from him. I don't want to hear shit from him. I don't want to hear nothing from him. He putting up all that old shit. Because all the new shit was trash. The fight with Barrios was trash. The other fight that he fought was trash. Trash. So he got to pull out Sean Porter fight. He got to pull out Danny Garcia fight. He can't pull out the Manny Pacquiao fight because he got his ass whooped. You understand? Okay. Okay. What well, Julio G says. Uh, he says they thought that PBC fighters were the shit because them always being in suit and ties on the little shows they had. Again, you know, casual fans were stepping in. Yeah, man, like I say, they was good fighters, but not one of them wanted to step up and fight a real champion. They did. They didn't want no challenge. We offered them every challenge that they could get. They turned, they turned their head. They made every rumor. They put, they put propaganda on us in, in the worst way. You understand? They put propagandas on the worst way. How, how can I think about it? It's almost like uh, uh, like they did with Martin Luther King, like they did with Malcolm X. They called him uh, they say he's with uh, he's a uh, what you call this a Marxist or a uh, or he uh, everything they can think about to make him look bad. Lying like a motherfucker. <laughs> Lying like a motherfucker. Soriano Jerry, go ahead and talk to me, man. Go ahead. Time listener, first time caller. Appreciate How you. How are you, Bernie the Boxer? Man, I'm holding, man. How's everything? It is, it is a privilege. You are talking to one of the soldiers that gets on YouTube every day and cooks up every channel I call to defend the best box in the world, pound for pound. That's right. The only fireman in boxing. That's right. The only fireman that is comfortable in the heat. Exactly. Exactly. How about that? How about that introduction? Exactly. Appreciate you. Let's go. That's right. Lives his life right. That's right. Learned from the wrong. Who's a family man? That's right. He drinks, eats, and tips boxing. That's right. Kobe Bryant of the sport. Uh huh. We can't wait for these guys to retire. Preach, brother. To preach. To start to appreciate him. You appreciate him now while he's here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm but Yes, sir. When he looked at Spence in his eyes and said, When I stop you, they're gonna say, Yes, sir. Prophecy, prophecy. Prophecy. Be careful what you ask for. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Go ahead. The reason why a lot of these fans are spicy about boots is I don't know if you know who Dan Raphael is. Yeah. He's a guy that PBC has in his pocket. Yeah. A week ago, or maybe two weeks ago, he put out something on Twitter saying that Al Heyman made Crawford an offer of Lubin, Charlo, and Boots. That he made him a three fight offer. Crawford denied it. That's why there's a lot of. I don't believe it. I, I don't and believe I that neither. And I think uh, Bomat denied it. Exactly. It's just hot garbage. It's yep. just hot garbage. Yes, sir. Nothing verified. But that's why these people are like uh, still talking about boots. And I told them, I mean, uh, Crawford is on Twitter on X saying, if you guys pay me, 
we'll make the fight. Exactly. But unless you ain't gonna put up the money, shut up. Exactly. And let's move on. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I, I, I did have another question for you. I thought this Eubanks fight had some legs. I did too. I did too. Uh, and I and I heard you talk on Mill City, and, and I really thought. And you know something that's curious? You may know about this. You may not know about this. But uh, uh, Womack was on an interview, and they had asked him, what, you know, was everything okay with him and Eubank? The Eubank. Uh, reach out to him, you know, when he was uh, when he had his troubles out in UK, and Bomac said that that he that he sent him emails while he was locked. But I, you know what? I, I found that very hard to believe that Bomac didn't have time to celebrate. Spence and Crawford went into an immediate training camp. Yes, and helped that man uh, reincarnate his career, man, and avenge that loss. And it sounded kind of crazy that Bowman had his troubles in UK and him and his father, who are very powerful, that family is very powerful over there, didn't come by and visit. But I don't know, that's, I don't know if you heard that. that. That just seems a little weird to me. And so I, I thought that perhaps Crawford was going to make that Eubank fight for a little payback, a little blood in the ring, you know? But I, I am glad... You know anything about that at no, all? No, I, I don't think I don't think it was no. Uh, I don't think they. Uh, no, Bo, Bo had so much uh, uh, love over there. It was crazy. Yeah, yeah. No, Bo had so much love. It was crazy over there. No, yeah, Bo had he, so he much love. Denied a Eubank fight. I don't think he he won any parts of that anyway. Yeah. But I am glad. I was I was uh, I was talking uh, to Nessa, the boxing voice. I said, man, I hope Paco hears this. I said Paco needs to step up and demand that fight as soon as they as soon as someone is crowned a winner, the bell rings and someone's hand is raised. They need to know well, Bud Crawford's waiting on him. Oh yeah, well I think you know I don't, I don't think that was no trouble. You know Bud Crawford can. Uh, you know what I mean? I think that was a uh, it was a challenge for us. He had something that we wanted, and uh, we was moving up in weight. You understand? So yeah. I think that would have been a that's that's a no brainer. You know what I mean? And these guys is welcoming him, and uh, you know what I mean uh, to do business with Crawford. But I really think that you know Boots is a guy they probably just really want to protect at a certain point. You know they want to let him uh, blossom and you know become right. the fighter that he want to be. You know that they think he gonna be. So you know what I mean? I don't think it's really nothing about you know it's just probably it just really ain't ready yet. Like I said, if uh, He's a classy guy. He doesn't like talking. Yeah. He just needs to get away from uh, Espinosa and PBC. Hey, one other thing, and I'll let you go, my good brother. Uh, any chance you and Crawford show up uh, for the Zoo fight and make an appearance as soon as no. someone's crowned? No, no. No, 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 hell no. You know what I'm saying? And Bud ain't the type to get in no ring or nothing. I, I don't know if he's going to go to the fight or not. I'm definitely not going to go to the fight. I'm not a traveler, and I don't really right. care to be at the fights. I like to stay at home. But, uh, you know what I mean? I don't know what the kid going to do. He might show up. He might not. I don't know. But, you know what I'm saying? It, it ain't even yeah. nothing like that. It ain't It ain't nothing like that. It's uh, okay. it's uh. No, I know it's, this, is, this is all class, and I hope to uh, uh, – uh, really follows up with what he's saying because he really wants to be great, man. Hey, Bernie, listen, uh, pleasure. Thank you for taking my call. Appreciate you, baby. We'll chat again, but remember the name because trust me, I am that freedom fighter. I got that you. Lights up every channel. This is Jerry Soriano. You're letting for life. Yes, sir. Soriano, appreciate you. Soriano, it's Soriano. Okay, yeah, man. So, like I said, you know. I think uh appreciate you, Jerry. But uh no, I, you know what I mean. If Bud show up down there, it was just it's just like I say, he's a fan of the fight fighters, and uh, you don't want to see a good fight if he did show up. You know, uh definitely the kids still got a lot more to burn and uh more greatness to uh to achieve. Like I said, dust moving up to 154 pounds and fighting the winner of uh of this fight here, you know, and I really think that we probably could have went and fought Zoo to right up front, but since Zoo, you know, we want to give him a little bit more seasoning, I feel like they want to give him a little bit more seasoning before you know what i'm saying they put him in there with crawford see how he do with a guy like i say a keep thurman a guy that can move a guy that can punch a guy who's been in there as a veteran in there you know what i'm saying uh tony harrison was past it uh mendoza was limited you know what i mean but all good wins you know what i'm saying but a guy like keep thurman who really you know been taking a little rest and you know what i mean haven't really been beat on or nothing like that so I, that's just my opinion you know what i mean they want to get him get him kind of se season him up or see where he stood and then you know what i mean because he really couldn't stop him. 
Because Crawford, you know what I'm saying, if he enforced that mandatory, he going up, you ain't got no choice but to take him on. So, you know what I'm saying, when the boogeyman come, everybody go run high. You ain't got to do nothing but get down or lay down. You understand? But uh, so like I say, you know, I don't know. I think that, you know, we just ain't, you know, this, but it's, that's what he wants is a challenge. He want a challenge. And I keep telling y'all, Boots didn't do the right thing. Listen, man, y'all gave him the belt. He accepted the belt. He should have not took the damn belt. He should have told Crawford. He should have made Crawford give up the damn belt. That's what he should have did. He should have made Crawford give up the damn belt. Either fight me or give up the damn belt. But he did not do that. If he wanted to fight, he didn't listen, man. Like I say, he he ain't vocal enough. Now, I ain't going to say they don't tie no people's hands. But still, still, you, you listen, you, you, you ain't, he ain't said nothing, man. I, the Lord bless him. Like I say, you know, he is a, a wonderful talent on paper. Uh, the eye test, he doing all that, but man, come on, brother. So ain't no, it ain't mathing, it ain't mathing. Somehow they ain't putting no, no nothing together. And that Dan Raphael, I don't want to say nothing disrespectful. Dan Raphael, you've been on the scene for a little bit, but listen, man, it gotta be a lie. Like I'm saying, they ain't offering no bud, no, no, them guys, man. They ain't offering them, they ain't offering them guys. And if they did, we wasn't looking at that. We looking up the scale. We trying to be great for real. Lubin already been jumped on. Boots is un is 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 undernourished. You understand? He ain't ripe yet. And who else they said? Charlo, he got his ass whooped. Come on, man. Come on, man. Okay. Okay. So where we at? Oh, damn, it's been an hour this long. Man, that been quick. What we been cooking? Okay. K Diamond. I don't even say that, but here I go. Uh, is y'all fight Fedora if he beat it, if he beat Tim. That's a tall boy. Boy, you know we're gonna cut him down. What are we gonna do? Chop it? What? Come on, man! But man, chopping down it ain't gonna be. Man, I'm telling you, boy, they be, the best thing you can do is leave Bud Crawford alone. The best thing you can do is leave Bud Crawford alone. When you see Bud Crawford, go the other way. Go the other way, man. Go the other way. Go the other way. Go the other way. Uh, Bernie be speaking facts, like him or not. He keeping it a hundred. That's why I fuck with him. Because I, all I can do is tell the truth. Now, when I tell a lie, you get me, okay? When I tell a lie, you get me. All right. They said they have less than 12 days. How many guys still want it? How many guys will want it? Uh, uh, You know, like I say, Fendora's already in shape. Perfect. Same thing we did when we when we moved up and fought Prescott. We was already in shape. We was fighting an eight-rounder or something right on the undercard. Right, what was it, an eight-rounder? Might have been a 10 round. Might have been an eight-rounder, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Say, man, come on. He this fella fell out. They was gonna fight for the title. We ain't gonna let you move up and fight for the title, but we're gonna let you fight this guy when we smoked him. You understand? With no hesitation. With no hesitation. We ain't listen. And, and, and I'm gonna tell you the truth. This is a true story. They said when when they when they when they when they did that, when they pulled Crawford up to fight Prescott, top rank, all the executives, whoever had something to do, this this how they walk past Bud now. They walk past him like this, like they was going to a funeral or something like. We didn't stepped in it, and they don't know. That's that's how they looking at us. That's how they were looking. Even though they signed Bud, they still don't know. They still thinking when they they thinking Bud going to his deathbed. That's how they thinking, man. Man, please, man, please. I'm telling you, when you get Crawford, boy. When it come to fighting, when it come to fighting, you better leave that man alone. I'm telling you, what he gonna do? Get rough, tough with you, boy. I'm telling you, boy. You better leave that Crawford alone, strong as an ox. You know where he trained at? You seen it? Huh? Never snack. Wore the shirt? Why? Just like everybody else wear some. Fuck you wear a Yankees hat. They don't mean you with Jay-Z because you wear a fucking Yankees hat. Just because you with this motherfucker, that don't mean shit. Come on now. Fashion. Whatever. Workout shit. Come on. Snack still got a, they got a bad reputation, but they got a good reputation too. Everybody do. You too, motherfucker. You the one that's talking shit. You think you was all good and perfect? Hell no. I know you lied and you stole before you motherfuckers. I know you lied and stole before motherfuckers. Come on. Yeah. All right. Okay, so listen. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to get to a couple more questions. <laughs> then I'm going to get out of here because my old lady, she hate when I be fussing at y'all. She hate when I be cussing at y'all. Boy, my old lady, she don't like that. She do not like that. Say, Bernard, I'm so worried for you. They bet not. Them suckers bet not. Uh -uh. They hate, they 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 don't like the truth. The only way they're going to do something to me, they can't do it to me. I'm a champion. I whoop ass and take names. That's what I do. Shit. I ain't never ran in 
duck from nobody. And all I did is tell them the truth. And then they did. They talked to me crazy first. Shit, they talked to me at first. Fuck them. Okay, hold on. What'd he say? Salute, Bernie. Can I get a shout out? BVO Boxing TV. Appreciate ya. Uh, Unruly Girl A says, Fandora would not beat Tim Zoo. No freaking way what is going what is going wrong with you people? You must not be watching boxing. Again, like I say, if you don't get careless, he might could win. But if you get careless, oh, it's good night, Irene. We already seen that. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So listen, man, I'm, I'm going to leave it on a good note, man. I appreciate everybody in the chat. I got 189 up in there, man. Go ahead, do the like and do the subscribe, do the sharing. You feel me? Uh, hope I covered all the bases. If I didn't, I apologize. You know, we got the upcoming fight. I think we got uh, Sinista going up for Undisputed, fighting Yoko Zell or some whatever. They 105 pounders, 108 pounders, Undisputed. But you know, Sinista is a real good, uh, entertaining boxer, a small but good looking and in, in, in the ring and out the ring. And uh, she fighting for Undisputed, so we got to check that out. Uh, I don't know who the main event is, but you know what I mean? It's going to be some good boxing on. It's it's, uh, it's always boxing season. We don't got no season. Fights is always happening, and things is uh, subject to change. That's why they say they read in small print, fighters subject to change. Never know. Man, because stump is toe. You understand? Man, like he said, he got a bicep. Huh? Every, anything can happen. You never know till they get in that ring. That's how you know. When they both stand across from each other. Other than that, it's a hope, it's a wish, it's a dream. But, huh, is we going to watch? Of course we is. All right. Okay, so with that, man, I said I'm gone. I said I'm gone. So cold, baby. Huh? Returning soon. I said I'm gone. I'm gone. I just hope that you miss me. Miss me. Miss me.